Hey everyone, it's Amory from Supreme Guru Tech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to free up storage space on your Android phone. I recently made a video on how to free up your storage on your iPhone or iPad and had one of our lovely followers ask how to do this on Android. So let's jump straight into it. Starting with deleting unused apps. Now this may or may not be obvious to you, but the first step on freeing up that phone storage is to delete any apps you previously downloaded but don't use anymore. So go into your main settings on your phone, look for the setting where it says apps, and this will open up your app list. So only delete those apps that you have downloaded but no longer use. So if we go through here, we will uninstall this app. So you just continue to do that on your phone with things that you don't use anymore. That will free up a good lot of storage for you if you do have a lot of unused apps on there. The next thing we are going to look at is deleting backed up photos. Google Photos is one of those built in apps on Android, which allows you to back up photos and videos to the cloud. If you're not sure on how to do that, then click this banner above. This is a video on how to back up your photos and videos to Google Photos. I love Google Photos because it allows you to delete everything from your phone that has already been backed up. It's such a reassuring way of removing photos and videos from your phone storage, knowing that they're safely backed up in the cloud. So go ahead and open up your Google Photos app. And then what you want to do is tap on the icon in the top right hand corner. That will open up your Google account and you will notice an option here for free up space. Go ahead and tap on that and you will get the option here to free up a certain amount of space. Like I said, this is a great way to clear out any storage on your phone and know that your photos and videos are safe in the cloud. So once we do that, that will basically remove them from our phone gallery, but you can always view those precious moments on Google Photos. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to clean up duplicate files and old downloads. There are so many cleaner style apps for Android, but the majority of them are loaded with adverts and spam and have a tendency to slow your phone down. That's why I'm recommending one of the safest cleaner apps out there, and that is, of course, Files by Google. If you don't already have this on your phone, I would highly recommend downloading this and let me show you why. Files by Google can delete duplicate files, remove old downloads, and even recommend apps to uninstall based on how long you haven't used them. It's honestly one of the best storage cleaning apps out there on the Play Store, and because it's from Google, you know it's gonna be trustworthy. So, as you can see here, I have the Files app on here, and I can go to the Clean option, and then what it will do is have a little scan on my phone and pick up various amount of things that I can delete. So we can see here, I can clear 665 megabytes from temporary app files, taking up space, and it tells you basically what it is going to clean. Junk files are left over system and app files that build up over time. Let's go ahead and clean that and you get a nice little animation on the screen to let you know the progress. As you can see here, you can delete duplicates. Go ahead and tap on that and hit the delete button. Like I said, you can also search for apps, free up more space. To continue, you need to find files in the list and turn on access. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now you'll see this gives me an option to delete 8.77 gigabyte. Now that's quite a lot of storage. Um, it tells me the last time that I used these apps. So say for example, I mean, there's an app from January that I haven't used. So let's go ahead and remove that. 
and it tells you how much storage space you have saved from doing that. So you can see that this is a great way to manage the storage on your phone. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is using an SD card if your phone has an SD card slot. The annoying thing about SD cards is that they don't automatically transfer your information from your phone to your SD card, but I've already made a video on this to show you how to move your files, photos and videos to your SD card. So go ahead and tap on that link above if you're not quite sure on how to do that. While we're on the topic of this expandable memory, there is another way of transferring all those files to a compact portable device that you can take with you on the go. I prefer these little gadgets over SD cards as they're more reliable and last for years to come. So you can get a SanDisk pen drive that will connect automatically to your phone and let you move all of your information onto that USB pen. It does come in a style of USB type C if that's what the phone you're using, but it also comes in a micro USB. So I will leave those links down in the description below. Take a look at them. They are very reasonably priced and will save you a lot of time and energy knowing that your pictures and videos and files are safe on the USB pen. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Until next time, you've been watching and listening to Amory from Supreme Guru Tech. Peace.